What do you know about those moles? Some years ago now, I sent my apprentice on a treasure hunt. He didn't find treasure, however, but a tunnel leading into the empire of those black fuzz darlings. In the end, that tunnel led him to his doom. Now, what am I saying? To my doom, of course. To cut a long story short, that excursion cost me my freedom and my apprentice and one of those moles their lives. And ever since, those creatures of darkness come by from time to time to make new demands. <sighs> what have those beasts done to my hat? Now really, Simon? You're not actually bemoaning the loss of that fashion faux pas. Where is this tunnel leading to those moles? Oh, that. The black furballs locked and barricaded it. You can forget about going through there. You've got to think of something else. Maybe Dr. Peach can help you. If I don't know what to do, I always ask him. I'm going now. Later. Oh, please stay a little while longer. Fashion faux pas or not, it's our hat. And it's our inventory. I know we have this backpack, but still. Anyway, let's go and see Dr. Peach. Ah, uh, Simon the Sorcerer. What can I do for you? Can you build a drill for me to be able to reach a subterranean city? Hmm, that at least sounds like a small challenge. You're getting better, young man. Yes, I can build a digging machine for you. I even have most of the parts I need. The only things missing are... Let me think. A digging tool and the propulsion. I guess a spade would be sufficient as a digging tool. And the propulsion? Hmm, what could we use? Let me think. Maybe... Yes, while trying out several propulsion systems for my creations, I developed seven league boots. Unfortunately, there was a critical design problem with the propulsion module of those boots. They could only go seven miles in a row, and it was not possible to take a break or stop on the way. As such, they weren't very practical, so I gave them away. I now know how to throttle the boot's propulsion, though. That's too bad. What became of those boots? I gave them to a rather vain cat wearing a hat that passed through here some months ago. Naturally, I warned him about the seven miles. So what happened? Well, the island's just five miles across in its broadest part. Cats are not the best swimmers, you know. With a bit of luck, the cat was washed ashore, and is now rotting on the beach somewhere, along with the boots. So, I guess that we're looking for a puss in boots? About the parts for this digging machine... What else do I need for the machine? I need seven league boots and a spade. That's all about the digging machine. I'll be going. We've been all around and we haven't seen a cat anywhere. Well, we have the spade. Let's try it. What this. bizarre settings this thing has. As I was saying, let's try out this metal detector. I'm guessing it's going to, be going to be leather, as back in the day, a lot of boots used to be made of leather. Now, what can we associate with a cat? Cheese, maybe? I thought that would be more for a mouse, but... Hey-ho, let's go with this. Aha! Uh -huh. The detector's notification light's flashing. I should be able to find something around here. Around where? What bizarre settings this thing has. Aha! Uh -huh. 
The detector's notification light's flashing. I should be able to find something around here. Oh! You have to find the right spots. This won't be tedious at all. I think it should be somewhere around here. Let's cut this time down by a lot. What bizarre settings this thing has. Hey! The detector found something! That's the spot where the detector found something! Aha! I found something! A pair of boots? But what the heck? There's a cat skeleton in them! Looks like Kitty didn't have any lives left. Wow. That is very disturbing. There's a hat-wearing cat skeleton lying in there. Okay. Let's go. Ah, uh, Simon the Sorcerer. What can I do for you? He is probably the only person who is happy to see Simon, ever. About the parts for this digging machine... I found the seven leak boots! The boots? I wouldn't have thought it possible. Their propulsion module will serve us well. Here's a spade. Great. I'll attach it right away. Okay, now I have everything I need. Hang on a moment. I'm done. Here's the digging machine. Please don't use it in a confined space. That means not in here, too. Whatever you're about to do, stop it! Time for real man's work! It looks more like a sandbox game to me. But oh well, why complain? He's gone now, so I've got some peace and quiet. Hey, wait! Well, in any case, it looks like I've reached my goal. After all, there shouldn't be too many subterranean cities. Now all I've got to do is subdue the leaders of those moles and reclaim my hat. I guess just telling them my name will do the trick. Welcome to Chapter 3. Sandy. That must come from the surface. Then why didn't we pick up some sand there? There's loads of sand. The end product of all intelligent acts, garbage. An old pot. I just hope the Swampling never used it. This pot is mine, mine, mine! The end product... I can bend pipes with this. You're coming with me! It does look like some of this is interactable. Oh, there we go. That's great for playing with fire. Great fuel for a grade A funeral pyre. Okay, if I have to, I can also just light a normal fire with it, I guess. Hot and greasy. Well, at least one of the two. Somebody obviously made a fire here before, so this should be a good fireplace. 
Now all I need is some sort of fuel. Hmm. I wonder. That should burn like tinder. It's a blaze now. Ta-da! I can heat something here now. I have no idea what I'm doing at the moment, but I'm running with it anyway. We will come back to this. The pot is empty. Yeah, I'm guessing we don't have anything to put in there at the moment. So this is the mysterious mole city at the center of the earth. I guess there's only one way to go, and that is down. Hi. C can you smell that? <laughs> there's somebody here. Calm down. Who? Wait a second. I can smell it too now. There's really somebody here. Let's go get him. Help! Where'd he go? I can't smell him anymore. Open your nose. He must be somewhere around here. Maybe he's turned insmellable. I'm only smelling this disgusting pile of garbage. Come on, let's go back. I'm sure he's somewhere around here. Yuck! This is really disgusting! Okay, they seem to have decent eyesight on the surface, because they captured Simon well enough. But down here they seem to be blind. Hmm, I wonder. We can't go near them. A lot of people don't know I'm a bocce junior master of the ninth subdivision. This is going to be a piece of cake. Hey, did you hear that? Yes, and why is there a draft all of a sudden here? I've no idea. Maybe it's the wind turning. I'd better not think about it anymore. I didn't become a guard to bother my head about stuff like that. Huh, with a throw like that, I could take on WG Grace even. I'm guessing that we can't speak to them. I could try. There is something. I can smell it. I guess you're just strung out. I don't smell anything, and there's nobody here either. And the smell of her black fur. Drop dead gorgeous. Did I tell you I gave self-made perfume to my girlfriend for her birthday? How'd you do that? Isn't that very hard to make? No, it's rather simple, actually. Perfume consists of an aromatic substance dissolved in ethanol and H2O gained by a thermal separation method, which can be gained by several procedures, such as hot enfleurage, where an aroma carrier is combined with polyunsaturated neutral fat. What are you talking about? That's all Greek to me. I don't have the time to explain it to you now. I've got an important message to deliver to the old ones. Okay, see you later then. Perfume, huh? Hmm. If I got that incoherent babbling right, I could try and brew a mole eau de toilette to camouflage myself in the city. So I'm guessing we need water, alcohol, and some kind of fat. A ventilation system enabling the heating to work correctly. What a weird thingamajig. It looks alive somehow, and it's radiating lots of heat. A rather big blind mole that can speak. A rather bizarre sight even for the magic world. Thanks to my superior throwing technique, the airflow is causing an upwind and those moles can't smell me any longer. Sweet.
This console is used to control the ventilation system. Hmm, if I've understood its settings correctly, all fans of the ventilation system should be active. So there must be a problem with the pipes. A ventilation system enabling the heating to work correctly. Oh, what a nice little lunchbox. I bet it's from Mommy. Dark, scary, unfathomable, a hole. Oh, let's see what Mommy packed him for his lunch. Why is there steam coming out? I saw lard somewhere. Oh. Simon can't seem to look at it. I've always wanted a lard pot like this. And here's a plastic fork too. I might as well take it also. Somehow it looks poisonous. A chest for personal belongings. Hmm, let's see what's in it. Aha, a razor. I'll take the lid of the chest with me as well. Why? Okay, whatever floats your boat. He's buried deep in his magazine. Halt! Intruders! Stop! Help! By all the mealworms in this world, we've lost him again. Let's go back, but not a word to anybody about this. The soil sergeant mustn't hear about this, otherwise he'll downgrade us. Please, not again! Maybe one more time. I guess we'll have to brave this cloud. Let's go in. Oh, we can go in. <coughs> oh, that spore cloud doesn't only look poisonous. It is poisonous. <coughs> this way I'll never get past it alive. Why not? Please try again. This ventilation system must be meant to suck up that spore cloud. Too bad it's broken. Okay, so we need to fix this. A pipe segment. A pipe segment. A pipe segment. Aha, uh -huh. okay. That sounds exactly like an unbroken pipe should sound. So we have five segments. So I think one of these is broken. That sounds exactly like an unbroken pipe should sound. sounds dull somehow, so there could be something wrong here. That sounds exactly like an unbroken pipe should sound. Okay, I think it's just the one pipe, but let's be sure. That sounds exactly like an unbroken pipe should sound. 
There's a disgusting fat bug in it, blocking the pipe. Must be of the species critical P1. So what have we got that can clear our pipe? Apparently, this is plastic fork. It's bug free at last. I have no idea. I really have no idea. At least it worked, I guess. Let's go in. Okay. An ordinary bucket. You can use it to milk a cow. Or you put a frog in it and stir well using a blender. Those devices are strange, in a strange way. I just hope those moles don't use them for mating. Absolutely empty. This empty bottle stinks of alcohol pretty bad. Yuck! It stinks terribly! He should really treat himself to a shower again. Yuck! It stinks... Okay. Do I dare speak to this robot here? Hi, you metal bucket! Just leave me in peace. You must be the happiest robot of all time. Happy? Oh, well. What is happening? Does one have to be happy to exist? So, you're an unhappily existing robot. Oh, well, unhappy. What is unhappiness? Don't we exist through our unhappiness in the first place? Isn't happiness a negation of all being? Isn't unhappiness, in truth, the happiness of existence then, which instantly reverses itself into unhappiness by negating that very truth? Us. Sure, sure. It must be like that. Do you maybe want to tell me what's on your mechanical mind before I go and leave you to your fate? Just look at me. I'm a discarded robot without limbs that'll soon stop thinking about the meaning of life because his systems will fail in a few months, all because I'm out of alcohol, which is fuel for me. Are you satisfied now? Well, at least you're still able to talk without interruption. No alcohol? That's going to be a bit of a crimp in our plans. You're powered by alcohol? Is your frame of mind a direct outcome of that? Maybe. Oh, I just wish my brains were as clouded as my heart and this lingering illness would come to an end. I am prepared to meet my metal maker. Prepared! You hear that? I can hear you loud and clear, and I, Simon the Sorcerer, am prepared to help you with that. If you don't want to live anymore anyway, why don't you just give me your fuel? Why? Go away, you legacy hunter. Not one step closer, don't you dare. Hang on a sec. You just wanted to bite the metallic dust less than five minutes ago. Paw! Oh, what an undignified death that would be, passing away just like that because a guy in an unsightly cloak came by and squeezed the last drop of alcohol out of me. I'm a warrior. I want to find my end in a great battle. I must admit I've never been used as a battle robot, though. So my dream of a great battle is finished. You've got to help me, please. Go and get me some alcohol so I can attain my goal. A great, great battle, please. Do I look like a dealer? Oh, okay, I'll go and see what I can find. I'll be going now, later. You don't have to return. I like being here by myself. I'm sure Simon hears that all the time. 
That's just boringly normal sand. Oh, we have steam. A hot steaming pipe. It'd take forever until the bucket is filled this way. Or at least until Simon the Sorcerer 6 is out. <laughs> um, yeah, let's not go there. I've gained distilled water. How fascinating. H2O in its purest, most delicate form, lightly coated in delicious crispy metal. <laughs> 